Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about how to design a short column. Here I have a column is subjected to an axial dead load of 500 kilonewton and live load of 500 kilonewton and both the loads acts at an eccentricity of 150 millimeter. So my task is to check whether the column is adequate to carry the design loads. As I have given here dead load and live loads. So I have to find the factored loads and moments because it is necessary to select a cross section to resist them. It is designing. Another important thing I want to say that the problems for column section design it is most easily carried out via interaction diagram. So we will discuss about interaction diagram also. Then we will do the designing of the columns. Here I have taken a cross section and there are two cases here, eccentric load and axial load and moments. Actually these two cases are same because this distance E, it is eccentricity and this eccentric load, it can be replaced by a load P acting along the centroidal axis plus a moment which is equal to P into E. As well I said interaction diagram it is very important to carry out the design. So we have to know what are the interactions between axial load and moments and it is represented by this interaction equation and this equation it shows the relationship between P and M at failure. As well I have mentioned here two conditions. When M equal to 0, column can support the maximum axial load. When P equal to 0, column can support the maximum moments. So let's move to see the interaction diagram and its behaviors. Column interaction diagram. Here, axial load resistance, see here, axial load resistance, I am taking it on the vertical axis, and moment resistance, I am taking it on horizontal axis. Now, a concentrically loaded column, here I represent it by A. This is the representation. This point is the representation of concentrically loaded column. Why? Because E equal to 0. Even I have written here. Now, if we think of eccentrically loaded column with small eccentricity. That is very important to point out here because I have to discuss about 
with small eccentricity with large eccentricity so with small eccentricity means we have to move from a to b and it is concrete control failure when i will tell eccentrically loaded column with large eccentricity then i have to move from b to c because it called steel control failure and also say if eccentricity equal to infinity because here it was zero and eccentricity increases increases here it is large and up to this point on x axis it is infinity so we can say it is pure bending this point this is pure axial this is pure bending as i have shown here by arrow it is steel control failure this is concrete control failure now what are the threshold in between these two i mean ob it is balanced conditions and e equal to eb so very easily we can say these two points i mean ab means it is eccentricity less than eb and for this bc i can say eccentricity greater than eb balance condition we are sure with what it is so we got lot of informations let's move to see some key points i mean key points of the column interaction diagram let's move to see the key features what it is same diagram only the thing here i marked here number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 what it is actually number 1 here it is if i click or touch here one one means my axial load resistance is pr1 and moment is mr2 so if mr1 divided by pr1 i get the eccentricity of this point 1 now if i go for point 2 combinations of pf and mf value look at here it is written here within the column capacity because it is inside of this interaction diagram this is very important point to note it it is important to understand that one it is exactly on the interaction but what about two it is inside so inside means it is it has adequate capacity column has adequate capacity when it is inside when we think about four this one four it means combination of pff value mf value that exceeds the column capacity so we are out of column capacity so any values pf and mf falls within this area then only we will choose it as a column design if outside then we cannot accept it so we have to do revising the sections and reanalyzing the sections if it is outside
now let's start designing calculating the factored load on the column as I told at the starting, we need to get the factored load on the column. So what are those? PF equal to this and MF equal to this. Now our task is to know what are the economic range of reinforcement ratios. It is 1 to 2%. Say I can take 2% or very close to 2%. Here I am assuming say 0.08. I mean 1.8 percent. So let's move. Concentric axial loading resistance in case of normal reinforced concrete column, we can write like these equations. And rearranging these equations, simplifying, rounding down the coefficient will give us the approximate relationship as this one. If you check in the books, you will find the all steps how to reach up to this level. Now we have to put all the values because PF already we calculated. You have seen in previous sheets 1375 and steel ratio, I mean reinforcement ratio, I considered 1.8%. So what I get? Very easy. 102383 millimeters square is equivalent to what? 320 millimeters square. But here I wrote something. Since moment act on the column, so this calculation, what I have found here, it will tend to underestimate the column size. So it's better. To go for a higher size, say 400 millimeter square column. So once I get it, get this size, right away I can find the steel. Say reinforcement, here I got, so 400 by 400, 0.018, 288. So as I need even numbers, so I choose this. Four numbers, 25 bars, and four numbers, 20 bars. So let's move. Here if I compute E by H, because H already I got 400 and E already we know 150, so 0.375. So here it says, if eccentricity ratio E by H greater than 0 0.2, a tight column with bars in the faces farthest from the axis of bending is most efficient. Now this relationship KLU by R less than equal to to the right hand side. This relationship is very important. Suppose we have to check left part and right part. If left part is really really less than equal to this because this is slenderness checking because I wrote at the top checking slenderness. So this is the relationship to check is it satisfying or not? So let's find left hand side first. What it is? 21.88. When I check right hand side, it will give 36.24. So since 21.88 is less than this, so slenderness can be neglected. That's the important point. 
so it means what as there is no slenderness so our column it is proved that it is a short column so we are happy now now let's bring interaction diagram which i have done in the software already we understood lot of key features i explained about interaction diagrams so now it's very clear for us to identify our value so i got 1375 comma 206 this is the load factored load factored moments where it lies if you check this 1500 slide down 1375 and here it is 200 210 in between the right position 206 so this is the positions we have and i already told if the point is within this interaction diagram so it means our design value is perfect so we are happy with our design i think that's all for this column design and thanks for watching